KXO, El Centro, California. Uh, good morning, Gene. Uh, good morning. <sighs> it's uh, another beautiful day. The morning, you know. Yeah, the mornings are beautiful. Morning's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Was, oh, well. Uh, out uh, very early this morning. Yeah. Uh, running, so it oh. was it was very bearable. Okay, and, <laughs> and that's all we ask for anymore is bearable, right? Yeah, this time of year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, today, by the way, is Fashion Day. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. At this time of year, for the most part, I base all my fashion choices on what doesn't chafe or itch. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, and of course, uh, uh, Gabe Lemus will be celebrating. Gabe of the striped shorts and plaid shirt. So, <laughs> <laughs> which he alternates from time he, to time yeah, that's and right. goes with the... Uh, the top or the bottom yes. or the bottom of the top. Yes. <sighs> okay. Um, it's just the way it works out. So how, how about some uh, birthdays? We mentioned Ed Ames. Yeah, he, we heard from Ed Ames. We did. You know, he uh, was part of the Ames Brothers singing group, and they were, uh, well, they, they performed with the big bands in the uh, 40s into the 50s and uh, had a solo career, as we heard, and also an actor. He uh, was uh, Daniel Boone. Fess Parker, the actor that played Daniel Boone, Ed Ames was his sidekick, Mingo. Okay. That's right. Actor James Hamilton is 84. He was on F Troop, which was, uh, well, an early depiction of uh, my unit in the Army. Yeah, I don't know if that was... Yeah. <laughs> if he was pleased with that or not. I don't know. Yeah, he was funny. Okay. Actor Richard, Dr Richard Roundtree, Shaft, is 78. And uh, singer Dee Dee Kinnebrew of uh, The Crystals, 75. Actor Chris Cooper, 69. Singer Debbie Sledge of Sister Sledge is 66. Actor Jimmy Smith, 65. Tom Hanks, 64. Singer Mark Almond of Soft Cell and Tainted Love fame, 63. Actress uh, Kelly McGillis, probably best known for Top Gun, 63. Singer Jim Kerr of Simple Minds, 61. Actor David O'Hara is 55. Actress Pamela Adlon is 54. Actor Scott Grimes, 49. Actor Fred Savage is 44. Actress Linda Park, 42. And let's see, actor Mitchell Musso is 29. Actress Georgie Henley is 25. Okay. Uh, those are the big shots, at least some of them. We've got locals coming up. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB in this station. Let's celebrate our KXO birthdays. Happy birthday, Christina Ibarra, Idly Mesa, R.J. Moore, Janae Hill, Valerie Vasquez, Elizabeth Ibarra, James Lewis, Jared Lewis, Hortensia de la Rosa, Philip Corona, Mario Sandoval, Cosme Soto, Leslie Salgado, Rod Averett, Vanity Monique Gomez, Venetia Williams, Jennifer Kidwell, and Sandra Stantiford. Happy birthday! And many more. Ah, let's see, in the news. <laughs> A British psychic predicts Kanye West will be elected U.S. president. <laughs> I'm not so sure here. I mean, this is the same psychic who predicted Ozzy Osbourne would win five gold medals at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. A little bit suspect here, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit suspect. Oh, boy. 
Uh, Ozzy is winning in his mind. Yes. What mind? Well, that's that's why he's winning. Yes. Terrible thing to waste, huh? He doesn't, uh, doesn't remember. Yep. That's probably better that he doesn't. Well, I, I think you're right. Uh, we mentioned today is Fashion Day, right? And, you know, uh, I think your folks were like mine. Uh, the, the fashion statement now is jeans that are ripped. Yeah, my mother would not let you go out of the house unless you were presentable, and that meant the jeans weren't ripped. Even if she had to get out the sewing machine or use one of those iron-on patches. Those iron-on patches, I, I don't even know if they make those things anymore. I think they do. Probably. Yeah, you remember them, don't you? Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, the fashion statement now, the ripped jeans, and people pay a lot of money for them. A lot of money. Yeah. It's also sugar cookie day. Let's hear it for the sugar cookies of the world. There's a lot of them. Okay. And it's no bra day. I promise I will not wear a bra today. All right. Okay. I'll take you at your word. Yeah. Oh, one of the birthdays we missed, O.J. Simpson is 73. Yes, O.J. Simpson is vowed to find the real cause of COVID-19. He, he's put the uh, search for the real killer on hold while he does this for us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I think okay. We pretty well covered it. Uh, I mean, a pretty uh, a typical uh, Thursday. Is it Thursday? Thursday. Yeah, sometimes I lose track. Thursday, Thursday. Okay. Well, the we've got, we've got Thursday news. news. Yes. And okay. the weather. It's a look at World in California news headlines right now, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning. We've got an excessive heat warning in effect. Uh, are you going to be cool? Yeah, and if you do have a problem, call your friends at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News special report. The Supreme Court has just ruled against the president in his bid to keep his financial records private as part of a criminal investigation that includes hush money payments to women who claim affairs with Mr. Trump. White House correspondent Stephen Portnoy. This is a significant defeat for the president. The justices ruled 7-2 to two that New York prosecutors can subpoena Mr. Trump's business records. The majority opinion was written by Chief Justice John Roberts, who says the president is, quote, neither absolutely immune from state criminal subpoenas seeking his private papers, nor entitled to a heightened standard of need. In a second ruling, the Supreme Court will not allow Democratic-led congressional committees to get a hold of the president's financial records. It sent that case back to the lower courts. Unlike past presidents, Mr. Trump has steadfastly refused to release details of his finances or taxes. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details 760 353 4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. headline news, authorities are searching for Glee star Naya Rivera after she went missing while boating and swimming with her four-year-old son on Lake Piru. Ventura County Sheriff's Captain Eric Bouchot says Riviera's son was found alone on the boat yesterday afternoon. They were seen going out on the lake together uh, in the early afternoon, and approximately three hours after they left the dock, another boater out on the lake discovered the... Uh, boat drifting. Her son told authorities he had been swimming with his mom, but she didn't return to the boat. Following the release of police body camera video that shows Vallejo police officers killing Sean Monterosa outside of Walgreens last month, his sister Michelle says what happened should not have happened. Not only do we want to prosecute, it just goes to show that we need Shawnee Williams to step down too. Williams is the Vallejo police chief. And Governor Gavin Newsom announced Wednesday three more counties in Napa, San Benito, and Yolo have been added to the state's COVID-19 watch list, bringing the total to 26. Steve Clausen, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Like Air Conditioning. Your friend in the air conditioning business, give them a call for uh, service, repairs, or installation. Like Air Conditioning, 760-353-4501. 760-353-4501. 
and custom sheet metal. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it out curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door with free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. And now a game of commercial chicken brought to you by Progressive, where we see how long Flo can go without talking about insurance. Ready? Go. So the, the weather is just all over the place lately, right? One day it's hot and the next day it's, uh, it's, it's windy for a while. It's like, make up your mind already. Drivers who switch to Progressive to say big. Okay, you win. We can't help but save customers money. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. It's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Raleigh and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, including the one you're driving right now. And you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Thursday morning. The National Weather Service has upgraded their excessive heat watch to an excessive heat warning. An excessive heat warning means that a period of very hot temperatures, even by Imperial Valley standards, will occur. The warning is for Saturday through Monday, when temperatures are likely to be near 120 degrees. Abnormally a strong high pressure building over the area Friday will continue into early next week in the Imperial, Mexicali, and Yuma Valleys. Overnight lows will be in the upper 80s through the weekend with 10 mile per hour winds gusting up to 20. Stay indoors. You are urged to seek air conditioning buildings, uh, bring more water than usual and avoid dehydrating alcoholic, sugary uh, or caffeinated drinks. Dress for the heat, lightweight and light colored clothing. Eat small meals and eat more often. If engaging in outdoor activities, take longer and more frequent breaks. Check in on family, friends, and neighbors, especially the elderly. Uh, public uh, cooling places are available throughout the valley. The California Highway Patrol is investigating a traffic accident reported at 625 this morning on eastbound Interstate 8 near Mountain Springs uh, Road off-ramp. A vehicle hit a bighorn sheep. No other information is available. KXO News Time 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price. Guaranteed. See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. Well, tax uh, day is on its way. It's coming. The State Franchise Tax Board reminds taxpayers that July 15, 2020, is the deadline to pay postponed income taxes owed for 2019, as well as estimated taxes for the first and second quarters of 2020. Taxpayers who need to make a 2019 income tax return payment and also owe estimated taxes for 2020 must make two separate payments by the July 15th deadline. One uh, for their 2019 tax payment and the other for the 2020 estimated tax. The two quarterly tax payments may be combined into a single payment. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment.
H&R Block tax pros are available year-round to get you every credit and deduction you deserve. Because the tax deadline has been extended to July 15th this year, you have more time to organize your documents and file your return if you need it. If, on the other hand, you think you have a refund coming this year, why wait? The IRS is still processing returns. When you're ready to tackle your taxes, we're ready to help. Safely drop off your documents at our office or work with your tax pro from the comfort of your home. Call or visit your nearest H&R Block in Imperial Valley or log Log on to hrblock.com today to get started. It's page two of the local news and in-depth weather. It's all brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. The Imperial County Public Health Department updated the local COVID-19 numbers on Wednesday morning. The number of deaths reported increased from 121 to 125. The number of individuals who tested positive for the disease increased in the 24-hour period by 121, going from 7,343 to 7,464. The number of individuals tested increased by 351, there are 6,280 patients who have recovered from the virus. Testing continues at two Optum serve sites in the Valley, at the Brawley Senior Center and at the Imperial Veterans Hall. Testing is free and no physician referral is needed. You must make an appointment, and that can be done through the Optum serve website or the Imperial County Public Health Department website. The Southern California Gas Company has made a $25,000 grant to help uh, local elderly residents who need food assistance. The grant will be administered by the American Legion Post 25, and the food purchased from the El Sol Market will be funneled uh, from the American Legion to the Imperial County uh, Area Agency on Aging for distribution to those in need. California National Guard will prepare food baskets with essentials and take part in delivering the food. An estimated 27 seniors will be served each day during the grant-funded program. Rosie Blankenship, Imperial County Public Administrator, whose department oversees the Area Agency on Aging, said the agency has information on seniors in need of food, as the county has been providing for emergency food needs for several months during the COVID-19 pandemic, and has already served more than 1,700 seniors. Under the new grant, Blankenship said her agency can reach out to some uh, of to the uh, same seniors to determine their needs while also reaching out to others in need. Mostly Theater Company will present a virtual talent showcase. With the COVID pandemic shutting down gatherings, the Imperial Valley Mostly Theater Company will host a virtual talent show. The showcase will allow you to unleash your creative side and share your talent uh, via Zoom with the community. A Zoom orientation uh, will be held uh, today at 6 p.m. The virtual showcase is scheduled for July 31st. The showcase is open to all ages. More information is available uh, through the Mostly Theater Company's website. We'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760 that's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with a look at the weather. The National Weather Service says dry conditions and above normal temperatures with Imperial and Yuma Valley highs approaching or exceeding 110 degrees will continue. Abnormally strong high pressure building over the area Friday into early next week will likely result in excessive heat with highs rising into the 115 to 120 degree range during the upcoming weekend. Extreme temperatures should subside early next week 
but temperatures likely will remain above normal through next week. 109 the high yesterday, 76 the low. Sunny today with a high near 109. Light winds becoming southeast about 5 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 82. South-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Friday will be sunny and hot with a high near 111. East-southeast wind around 5 miles an hour, then turning out of the west-northwest in the afternoon. Saturday, mostly sunny and hot with a high near 115. South wind about 5 miles an hour. It'll be sunny and hot on Sunday with a high near 119. West wind about 5 miles per hour. We have 84 degrees downtown, 20% relative humidity. Right now, the wind is calm. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West insurance services. Bo and his team of employees at Stan's Auto Body are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle repaired and fixed right. Stan's Auto Body is grateful for the support they hear from the job they're doing and being highly rated with carwise.com. Yes, accidents are disturbing and Stan's Auto Body is here for you to ease the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stan's Auto Body works with all insurance companies, so give them a call or stop by at 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. It's sports time. What's going on in the world of sports? Well, word is the uh, Washington NFL franchise will uh, keep the burgundy and gold colors, but lose all imaging relating to Native Americans. And, uh, well... Let's see where the name goes. Uh, one of the suggestions is uh, Nick. Uh, their nickname should be the Red Tails. The name Red Tails, a tribute to the uh, planes flown by the Tuskegee Airmen, the first black military aviators who served in the U.S. Army during World War II. In other NFL news, 49ers running back Raheem Mostart has requested a trade. He wants out of San Francisco. Agent Brett Tesler tweeted that the trade request comes after months of unproductive talks with the 49ers on adjusting his contract. Hey, buddy, you got a contract? You want it adjusted? Yeah, if you have a couple of bad seasons, you want it adjusted then? I mean, most are scheduled to be paid a base salary of only $2.575 million this season. Yeah. And, uh, well, he'd, uh, he'd like more like $5 million. Good luck, bud. KXO Sports Time, 7.53. Masters Construction is family-owned and operated and has been serving the Imperial Valley since 1967. They specialize in earthwork grading, base and asphalt paving, and also do crack sealing, seal coating, and stripping. From roadways to driveways to parking lots, they do it all. No job is too big. So call Masters Construction for a free estimate at 760-344-7400. That's 760 760- 344-7400. In other news, uh, the uh, New Jersey Nets have acquired some help. The uh, Nets have assigned Jamal Crawford for the remainder of the season. Crawford is 40. He played last year. That was it. Um, and, uh, well, the Nets have three players testing positive for the coronavirus. And uh, one, citing familial obligations, has uh, decided not to make uh, the trip and play. So uh, Crawford on his way back to the league. Speaking of the league, the Ivy League has announced that they will not play any sports this fall. Well, that's what they're saying. The uh, Ivy League has... uh, put off making any decision on winter or spring sports at this time. And Stanford, which uh, has always been a power in sports, 
is dropping 11 sports because of financial considerations. The 11 sports include men's and women's fencing, field hockey, lightweight rowing, men's rowing, co-ed and women's sailing, squash, synchronized swimming, men's volleyball, and wrestling. Uh, that's it for uh, sports time. Stick around. We've got a look at financial news coming up. Crews working to update the I-8 Imperial Avenue interchange have closed the eastbound ramps for the next 10 months. Eastbound motorists will be detoured at 4th Street, State Route 86. The I-8 Imperial Avenue interchange will be closed for two nights for bridge demolition the week of July 20th. For more information, call Caltrans, 619-688. 6670. It's financial news and a brief look at the weather, all brought to you by the Imperial Valley's Roto Rooter. When rains don't work, they do. Well, the markets right now are showing red. The Dow Jones Industrial off 383 points at 25,684. The S&P 500 down 33 at 3,137. And the NASDAQ off 43 points at 10,449. Meanwhile, gold has dropped $7.20 an ounce. And uh, oil is off $1.46 a barrel right now. The... Uh, Dow down following uh, losses for uh, performers like Walgreens. They are uh, Walgreens Boots and Raytheon Technologies uh, have declined. And uh, that is uh, contributing to the drop. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. In uh, other financial news, jobless claims fell to a four-month low of 1.31 million in early July, but layoffs uh, remain high. Economists polled by Market Watch had forecast 1.40 million new claims. Uh, these figures reflect applications filed the normal way through state unemployment offices. It will be sunny today with a high near 109, light wind becoming southeast about five miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 82, south-southeast wind five to 10 miles an hour. Friday, sunny and hot with a high near 111, east-southeast wind about five miles an hour, then turning out of the west-northwest in the afternoon. And right now downtown, we are looking at 86 degrees. Uh, we did mention an excessive heat warning in effect starting tomorrow, running through Monday. 86 degrees, 20% relative humidity. The wind right now is calm. That's it for financial news and a brief look at the weather, all brought to you by Roto Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. Check out the KXO website, kxoradio.com. Find us, follow us, like us on Facebook. Oh, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let your friends and uh, neighbors out of the valley know you can follow local events on our YouTube channel. Are you in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? Maybe you're just looking to sell or trade in your car for top dollar. At Rogers & Rogers Auto Group, we're your no-hassle, one-stop shop to purchase, service, or even sell your current vehicle. Four dealerships, seven brands, and hundreds of quality vehicles to choose from. Family owned and operated and have been serving our community for over 90 years. Visit us on Highway 86 and Aiton Road or shop us online at rogersautos.com today. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source.
CBS News is next. It is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kaith, and decision day of the U.S. Supreme Court for two cases involving President Trump's financial records. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. In the case involving New York prosecutors and their efforts to obtain the president's business records, the court flatly rejected Mr. Trump's arguments that as president, he is absolutely immune from local grand jury subpoenas. Chief Justice John Roberts' opinion also says the president can't demand that state prosecutors demonstrate a heightened need for his records. The case has been sent back to a lower court where the president might make other arguments. Separately, the justices rejected an effort by House Democrats to issue their own subpoena for the tax records. In that case, the court sided with the president, ruling that Congress's approach aggravated the separation of powers. If it were to stand, Roberts' opinion says, Congress could, quote, aggrandize itself at the president's expense just as the framers feared. Well, CBS News legal analyst Jonathan Turley tells us... What the president did succeed in doing is to delay this issue of his financial records until after the election. Because the case was sent back, it's doubtful that there will be any great progress made before people go to the polls. There's concern about the sharp rise in coronavirus cases in the four red zone states, as they're being called now, California, Florida, Arizona, and Texas. This nurse at a hospital in McAllen, Texas, is worried about patients and staff. Now we can really stop and think about what's happening, and it's terrifying. We're losing the friends, and it just becomes too much. So there's pushback in Florida to the order to reopen schools in the fall when Wendy Doramal is with the union representing teachers in the Orlando area. There will not be enough teachers to teach the children because we're hearing from teachers every day who are terrified. The government says 1.3 million people were added to the unemployment line filing benefit claims last week. Just down a bit from the week before, economist Mark Hamrick of Bankrate.com. New claims have remained extremely elevated above the 1 million mark for 16 straight weeks now. This is the sixth straight week. The new claims have been between 1 and 2 million, indicating that there's less momentum being seen to the downside. From Indiana, word that a woman has been arrested in connection with the hit and run that hurt two protesters. The march was over the alleged racial attack on a black man near a lake. A lake in Southern California is closed now as the search goes on for Glee actress Naya Rivera. She's missing after renting a pontoon boat. Her four-year-old son was found safe on that boat. Wall Street right now, stocks have turned lower. The Dow is down 490. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One NA, member FDIC. Jay Farner here, CEO of Rocket Mortgage. Making the right financial decisions has never been more important. When you turn to Rocket Mortgage, we can help guide you to those right decisions now when they matter most. Mortgage rates are near historic lows, so now is a great time to call 8338-ROCKET. And if you need some extra money, a cash-out refinance could give you that financial boost you're looking for. Call today at 8338-ROCKET or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn more. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. How much money would you like to save just by doing something you're already doing? 15 or 25 percent? How about 30 percent? Here in California, all states safe drivers can save 30 percent just by doing something they're already doing. Driving safe. That's right, 30% just by driving safe. Allstate can help lower your cost of driving. Safe drivers can save 30% or more. Visit Allstate.com or call a local agent for a quote today. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. A second wave of NBA teams has arrived in Orlando. CBS's Peter King is there to tell us what's ahead. Scrimmages don't start for nearly two weeks. When they're not practicing, players are supposed to be in a bubble. Strictly limited exposure to the outside world. The Athletic reports eventually they will be able to golf, fish, bowl, and go to Disney World parks after hours. Most of those options don't kick in until later this month. They can take fishing and boating trips limited to five guests and no alcohol, but those trips are limited to teams staying at three hotels on Disney property. When baseball resumes, there will be no fans in the stands, but plenty of smiling faces. Teams are selling cardboard cutouts to put in the stands in place of fannies in the seats. For the Chicago White Sox, 
Costs $49 with money to go to team charities. The New York Mets are giving free cutouts to fans who renew season tickets for the 2021 season. Steve Kathan, CBS News. The coronavirus pandemic has affected many businesses in the Imperial Valley. The Small Business Development Center and the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation are here to help. They can assist with disaster loans and other financing, guidance on establishing a safe workplace, workforce concerns, and additional referrals. For virtual counseling services, call the Small Business Development Center, 7 Seven six zero three one two ninety eight hundred. Say habla espanol. For more information on business resources, visit ibedc.com. CBS News, a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. Yeah, for some reason or another. You sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. This is an ugly candy bar. Peter Paul's Almond Cluster. It bulges from the way they stuff those almonds and crunchy stuff inside. It's so ugly, in fact, we're not going to show it to you. But don't go away. We're going to show you something. Isn't that something? Believe me, it's better than looking at our candy bar. Funny thing, ugly as it is, almond cluster tastes just beautiful. Why people who make such a crunchy chocolatey candy can't fix the way it looks? I don't know, maybe we should be on our radio or something, uh, skywriting. 